Hello, my dear kids. I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start with our next chapter, chapter number four, shapes. In this chapter, we'll talk about plane shapes, understanding simple geometric concepts, measuring line segment, solids, closed and open figures, tangram, and congruent figures. Before starting with this chapter, I want to discuss the objectives. So here are the learning objectives. After completing this chapter, the students will be able to identify specific shapes, recognize shapes in the environment, create original work of art using these shapes. Now here we have the first page of your chapter. Let us revise. The animals are going to a rally for the safety of trees and animals. Here are two squirrels, Pit Pit and Kit Kit. They both are busy in painting the signboards and writing the slogans on them. These are the signboard. Do not cut trees. Let us live. Be friends, stop killing us, plant more trees. And you can see these, all the signboards, they are in different shape. Now, what the monkey is saying? The signboards are looking so nice. You did a good job. Now, let's talk about these shapes one by one. So, the first shape is circle. A circle has no corner and no side. Our second shape is rectangle. Here you can see a rectangle has 1, 2, 3 and 4 corners and 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the four sides of a rectangle. And the opposite sides like this side and this side. These are the opposite side. These sides are equal. And this one side and this one side. These opposite sides are also equal. Next is our square. A square also have 1, 2, 3 and 4 corners. 1, 2, 3 and 4 sides. And all the 4 sides of a square are equal. The next shape is triangle. It has one, two and three corners and one, two, three sides. The last shape is our oval shape. This is our oval shape. Like the circle, in our oval shape also we do not have any corner and any side. So, these are the five basic shapes. Now, we will understand the simple concepts in geometry. Here we will talk about point, straight line, line segment, ray, intersecting lines and curved lines. Hey kids, meet Hardik. Hardik is an architect. He is designing a bridge. He is drawing a sketch using points, lines and line segment. Let us first understand what a point is. A point is represented by a dot. It has no size, no shape and it is denoted by a capital letter like A, B, C, D or any letter. So, here is one point and the name of that point is point P. Let's take another point. Here I have made another point. Give the name Z. So, these are the point. 
Here are some straight lines. A straight line, it has arrowhead on both the sides. Do you know what does these arrowhead denotes? They tell us that this line can be extended on any of the either side. It has no end point, it has no definite length and it can be made in any direction. Like this we have made it vertically, this is horizontal and this is slanting line. So these are the different lines. Let's make line segment. See, when two points like this, let's give the name to these two points A, B. And these two points, when they are joined together, they make a line segment. This is the slanting line segment and this is my horizontal line segment. Let's give name to these also. So AB is my vertical line segment, XY is the slanting line segment and PQ is the horizontal line segment. So what is a line segment? A line segment, it lies between two points. It has a definite length. We cannot extend it on either of the side. If you will see your notebook also. On your notebook, it has definite length and also it has definite breadth. So these length and breadth, they denote the line segment. If you will see a ladder, a ladder also like it is also made up of so many line segments. See, so many line segments are there in a ladder also. The next is our ray. A ray, it has only one end point and it has arrowhead on the other side. It means it can be extended on one side. For example, sun rays. See, these rays, this sun, it is the end point. Like these points, let's take, give the name A, B. Similarly, this is my sun. This is my point A and these sun rays, they can be extended to any level. So this is the example of my ray. Our next lines are intersecting lines. When two lines or more lines, they cross each other. Let's give the name A, B, C, D. So these two lines are called intersecting lines. And the point, like suppose I'll give the name to this point as point P, the point at which they are meeting each other, this point is called point of intersection. Let's take the other one example also. Give the name P, Q, R, S. This point I'm giving the name as Z. So PQ and RS my, are my intersecting lines and point C is my point of intersection. So these are my intersecting lines. The next is the curved line. Curved line can be made in any zigzag way. You can make it in any way you want. You can make like this this, 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 anyway, these are the curved lines. So these were some of our lines, line segment rays. So today we have talked about, learned about what is a point, straight line, line segment, ray, intersecting lines and curved lines. Goodbye kids, see you next time.